Yo, yo, it's Small Mouth Crush. Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video is going to be pretty amazing. I hope. I'm just excited because of where I'm at right now. I'm on Pickwick Lake, Florence, Alabama. I got my buddy Ryan with me down below, rigging up baits, rigging up swim baits, true bass swim baits. And we're going to put the smack down on some smallmouth today. That's all coming up. It's finally starting to warm up, at least in the southern part of the country. And the big smallies are biting. Uh, this place is known for big bags of smallmouth. Ryan's caught multiple bags over 30 pounds. Big fish live here. It wouldn't be unheard of if we jacked an 8 pounder, right? They live here. Right, they live here. They're here. They're here. So we're going to have to get to work. We're going to have to try to figure some things out today. I just love being down here, guys. I mean, a lot of you guys might not know this about me, but my favorite state is Alabama. Yes, I'm from Wisconsin. I love the Midwest. Upstate New York. But Alabama, the Tennessee River, man. Doesn't get much better than that, baby. It doesn't. It doesn't. Well, let's go figure out what we're going to be doing here. It looks like we're, we're chucking swim baits in the current. These fish are up here right now. I guess staging to spawn. Yep. Big spawning area around us. Water was high this year. It's come down a little bit. It's dropped 10 feet in seven days. Wow. Crazy. Crazy stuff, man. And um, so you just started. They just really started biting this week for you, right? Absolutely. We could, we couldn't even fish the, this area where we were at. It was too turbulent. And uh, starting sure. Monday, we were able to get in this area. And with this full moon, droves of smallmouth are moving up towards Damn. the dam to start biting for the spawn. And it's really a morning bite, right? Right now. Yeah, right now it is. Um, as we get closer and deeper in the spawn, they'll start biting more all day. Sure. And, um, as they transition, you'll switch from swim baits to drop shot, Ned rig, and okay. You know, Gotcha. All the beavers. Man, I'm ready. Let's do this. We got one already. Dang. Big and big. It's gone, Travis. There you go. It's a spot. Nice. That thing is just gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we'll take them. We'll take four bonus bounce spot. Bonus spot. Absolutely. <laughs> In the middle of the current. So Ryan and I got on some fish right away. I was I was trying to still get the feel for everything. So I was actually getting a fish almost every other cast because I was fishing just outside the current, kind of where the where the largemouth and the spots are hanging out. And it took me a while to figure out how we're going to be able to put some of these bigger smallmouth in the boat. And uh, Ryan certainly, certainly got on the smallmouth pattern quick. But I was having fun catching these guys. There you go. Well, that's a spot, Travis. It's I a straight see spot. It's a five pound spot. It's nice. Got him. Got him. Smalley? Not sure. I mean, it's a bass. Oh, big. That's decent, dude. I got him. I got him. Yes! That's not bad. I hope it's recording. I hit it. Oh, uh, it's not. We're going now. There we go. Number one for the smallies, actually. Yeah. Four and a quarter. What do you think? Yeah. There we go. Large mouth, citron. They're biting. It's another spot. I'm the spot king this morning, Trav. Spots moved in overnight. Nice one, red eyes on them. Yes, yes. Yep. 
Not sure. I mean, it's a bass. Whew. How big? It's decent, dude. I got him. I got him. Yes. That's not bad. I hope it's recording. I hit it. Ah, uh, if not, that's a good fish. Hell yeah, that's a solid four. Yeah. Got him. He ain't that big. It's small, dude. Don't worry about the net. Don't worry about that. We're good. We'll get the net out when we get a seven. A large mouth. Wait, did you see that? He pointed right to where I needed to cast, but then he got mad at me for casting. <laughs> and then this guy bit. Awesome monkey! Alright, let's go, let's go! Go time! Come on, we're going! I gotta fish. He hit the water, dude, and I thought you were messing with me. No. Look up, another big one. They're not that big, but they're all stacked right there, Travis. It's only a four. <laughs> Large trail? Big large mouth. We'll take them. Yeah. Guess what? We just hit a grand slam. I think we got all four pounders too. Nice. Yeah. Freaking. Got him. Got him. I see him jumping. I see him jumping out there. Is it good? Yeah. All right. I'll get him. You get him. There you go. <laughs> Not bad at all. Just fell out too. Nice. I can't see. I got the glare. But we got hooked up again. And again, That's a pretty big fish. He's moving fast. I'll tell you if it is. He's all right. You want help? Up the spot? No. What? Another spot. Spots have moved in to spawn, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Ryan. So we had a pretty good. We had a pretty good start. Here. Yeah, I mean, it's been an awesome flurry. It's been about par for the course so far. Um, the, the main notable difference this morning is a lot of big spotted bass have moved into the current, and it's been a lot of fun. I think you caught a five. I caught a four and a half. Yep. You got a, about a six smallie. I got one just under five. So can you just quickly explain kind of the approach of what we're doing uh, as far as the technique, the retrieve, and all that? Basically, we're taking a half or a three-quarter ounce swim bait head. This is a true lock swim bait head from True Bass Swim Baits. This color is called Citron. 
and it's pretty simple. You just throw 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon, throw it out in the current, and reel it back and hope you don't get hung in a rock. Sure, sure. And um, then hopefully a fish grabs it. Right, and that they have then. And that they have. I know. Really? Dude, what is that? One more stretch. <laughs> what the frick? What is that, dude? Striper. Is it really? Big striper! Big. They used to live right up in the rocks, right where the current's coming over. It's amazing. They can fit their big butts in that shallow water. Holy a giant. crap. Oh God. That's a stud, dude. <laughs> easy, easy kill. Look at that thing. I, I don't know what this thing bottoms out at. Wow. But it's way over 16 pounds, dude. Hand me that. Um, <laughs> hand me the yellow scale. All right. I want you to hold them up too. Absolutely. But here's one thing I really want everyone to note. That that Sherlock hook did not straighten. But guess what? True bass swim bait. It's not ripped. It's got some teeth marks from that big fish, but I can still catch a ton of fish on that bait. Sure. All right. Yep. Tell me when. All right, boss. All right, got Send 30 pounds way. salt water. We're going to let her go. Let her get some hair on her lungs. All right. Bring her out here. Bye, girl. See ya. Stay down, baby. It's a catfish snag to the butt. That's why it felt so good. I'm good, man. When you can do that with a swim bait. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dialed in. Good job, good job. Thanks. Jump on in here. That's not be a fox. Long. Long and strong. Man, it's like I've done it before. You see him. Boom, Bella! Long, four and a half solid. That's a heavy one. Bassmaster Elite Series. Ryan Salzman just won the Bassmaster Classic! Yeah, Pickwick Lake, early March. Doesn't get really any better than that. Little scoliosis stud. It's a fun one. A bite-sized one. Oh, it's pretty good. Four? <laughs> it might be going down, Travis. First one we caught drifting like that. That's a unique colored fish. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think there's some different strains of smallies up here. I think you're a different strain. 100% rare breed. And they slide the current off, so slower current. Yeah. The better way is 100% That's a stud. Yeah. It's, it's a fish. This was gonna get, get you in a video. No, we're good. By the time you get, see, you're a pretty slow camera. Just because I'm thin, I think you're probably gonna let it go. I am. Well, got one, bro. He. Good. You got a stud on? It's decent. That is a stud. Wow. <laughs> That's a five at least. Yeah. Five change. That's Keep awesome. Swim bait in its mouth. Do it. There 
he is. Oh yeah, it's a good large head. Got him. Yep. Okay. Uh, Striper. Spot. Alright. That's not a bad spot. Taken. Yep. No, he ain't that big. I was just getting y'all nervous, bro. It's a good one. It is a decent fish and it was fun. He's sporty. I thought you were doing your choo. Let me see it. Ah! But if I was throwing the 16th ounce cut, take. Got him. Good one? No. But. That was good timing. Looks like a good one. No. He's got a lamp ray on him. Show that to the camera. Hard now. Look at that nasty thing. That is wicked. Dude. Let me help him out. Let's take him off. Go, go on. Ah! You won't bite it. You want to get with this? You won't bite it, will you? Huh? You won't bite it. Why not? You won't bite it. You don't think so? I don't think you will. Why? You might get some bad disease. Really? I don't know. That's not a good idea. Put him on you. And just let him fuck No, me. don't do it. Why? Will you hurt me? I don't know. Doesn't seem like anything good can come of it. Oh, Travis, no, he's not on camera. He's hooked up. Fast and what it feels like a small mouth. Well, you're moving around too much. God, he, look at him. Yeah, it's a small you're, mouth. You're moving around too much. That's a good one, dude. Real good fish. Let's see if you can handle this. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, you haven't caught a smallmouth in 10 minutes, so it feels big. He fought. In a different fight size. That's not bad. I mean, it's it's a four pounder. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad at all. But he was fast. You saw him, man. He was bulldogging. Right, right. Well, 4.5, it dropped down a little smaller size. Okay. He wouldn't come off in a million years. Good fish. Absolutely. He's fat, though. All right, what's this? game you want to play. All right, Travis, I want to play a game. If Travis can guess the exact weight yep. of this fish, I will give him $100 for the true bass. Love it. The All exact right. weight? What do you want? You want to go exact or within, within five two ounces. ounces? Within two ounces. All right. All right. I got to hold them. All right, you hold them. Yep. Feel them. Got it. Got it. All right. All right, let's zero the scale out. All right, it's zeroed out. Yep. Okay, I'm going to hook them up. Yep. Three pounds, 10 ounces. What does that do hundreds? Three pounds, 10 ounces. I don't know what that means. Okay, we gotta convert. It's 359. That's gonna be right around it, within two ounces, I think. Well, now we need to figure this out. Right. Now we need to convert it. 3.59, let's let them go. Okay. 3.59, remember that. Uh, and I said 3.10. Yes, 3.10, 3.59, we need to convert it. You can go that way, you're coming in hot. I'm out. Okay, you're good. So... Uh -oh. We're getting all these right now? Wait, I mean, nice. Bring it on. Bring it on! That's my care package. <laughs> this is his care package. This is on the so, water. Hang on, just bring the whole box. Don't hand this stuff over. <laughs> so we go through a lot of baits here. You know, we, we we caught them so good this morning. I had an Amazon airship true bass swim baits on the water, man. It doesn't really get any better than this. Thank you, thank you, Amazon man. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. You are the man. We got some more half ounce heads, dude. We got green beans. So you got some citrons in here? Oh. The money maker. Dang. If you're not throwing citron, you're not fishing. It's a long one. All right, we hooked up again. Long fish. Long and strong. Dude, this fish is pretty heavy, actually. That's a good one. <sighs> That's what we've been dealing with all day, guys. We got a box full of swim baits. Who does that? Who does? Who brings this many? 
We had a delivery. Now he was he was running low and um, your buddy brought some over for us. But listen guys, we had an awesome time today. Dude, for real. Guess what? I get to do this all again tomorrow. My wow. hands are tore up. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna have to get some gloves, man. <laughs> no, it was, it was awesome. I think our biggest five, we were pushing 25, 26. We had that big spotted bass as well. Spot, spot of us uh, Rex. Man. It's crazy. It was a great time. I'm, I can't wait for tomorrow. We're actually gonna go do a little largemouth fishing. See yeah. if we can find some largemouth today. Yeah, trap bite. And if we get on them, that's gonna be the next video. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow Ryan. Ryan's a guide here on Pickwick. Alabama Bass Guide is my guide service. You can follow me on Instagram at AL Bass Guide. And YouTube is just Alabama Bass Guide. And if you want to see some stuff kind of like him. And you guide all the Tennessee Rivers. I mean, yeah. for the most part. Uh, Wheeler, Gunnersville, Wheeler. Wilson, Gunnersville, big mm -hmm. staple. I would say 50 50 Gunnersville Pickwick's where I spend most of my sure. time. Sure. Awesome, awesome. Until <laughs> next time, we'll see you guys on the water. See you on the water. <laughs> And until next time, we'll see you on the water. There you go.